Hello and welcome back to my channel. As promised, today I will guide you through the Asana boards that I use to manage my content calendar and make sure that I keep the content coming your way without stress and hassle. I tried so many different methods to organize everything that goes into creating content, but it wasn't until very recently when I created this video that I found the perfect method. On that video, I told you that step five of my goal setting process is turning everything into Asana boards. Some of my goals are to do's and others are related with content creation and therefore require a little bit more planning and operational effort. Setting up for those is tricky, but I did it, girls and boys. So behold my content planning Asana boards. Okay, so here we are on Asana. I only set it up for my business or this account very recently. So as you can see, I have a free premium trial, which is great, but I'm only using basic free features since paying for Asana is not really a priority from the get-go for my business starting next year. Okay, so jumping straight into it. You can see that besides my October goals, what I have here uploaded is my YouTube workspace and my Instagram workspace. Let's start with YouTube, since that is the one that I'm the most proud of. Girl, I've been taking YouTube for a spin for a while and have I struggled with it, but I feel like after, what, a year and a half of creating content and really trying and testing and trial and error, I really understand YouTube and I understand what goes into it and therefore I feel like I worked out what is a very very good system to keep me consistent so that I can just focus and worry on becoming better and better. The main thing about YouTube is knowing what to post and knowing when you want to post. So for me personally I decided that I can post and I want to post once a week and the next level of it is okay knowing what you will post so that you're never dry for ideas when the time is to record and to yeah, upload and get your video ready. So the main thing I wanted to have here is a video, like an idea bank for video ideas that I can then allocate freely to the weeks. And as you can see here, because of this method, I already have like video ideas until the end of the year, which gives me such a peace of mind because I know that like whatever happens, all I need to do is sit down and record. So besides my bank of ideas, how I structured is that I have all of the different stages that go for me into creating a YouTube video. So I have here the video outline that basically when I cl click, I know when this video is supposed to be uploaded and then I just go on to write that the outline is in as much detail as I need right here. The next stage is the recording. So you can see this is the video we are recording right now and the outline is all in here. And I know that at this point I have these two videos to record because they are already outlined and ready to just for me to sit down and record them. Next, once this one is recorded, I move them into the editing stage. So I know that this video, yeah, basically it's in the editing stage. And after that's done, I know that I need to create metadata, met metadata and the thumbnail and finally upload it. And this then is also my historical view of all of the videos that I did with this system. I love the system because honestly, there is no excuses. I know what's going on at each step. Like I can also work on different videos at the same time without getting all confused because everything is in there. And honestly, this trick of moving the cards around is amazing because number one, like I said, it allows me to be super organized and even handle several videos at once. And number two, it honestly rewards my brain every time I accomplish a little bit of the process. So it gets to be exciting to do this, I swear. It's the same feeling as when you have a list and you scratch a task out of the list. It's the same thing, I love it. Now, if you are wondering what the specific tasks are and what exactly goes into them, remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel because I have the plan, I'm planning on making very, very soon a video in which I guide you through my entire workflow to create a YouTube video. So definitely subscribe so that you can stay in the loop. And if you have any specific questions, leave them down below because then I can answer them when that video comes up in about two weeks. Okay, now that was my YouTube workspace and I have to say it's super useful. It really helped me become much more organized and structured and excited about creating YouTube content. Now let's move on to the Instagram workspace. I have to admit that that one, I believe that will still change significantly because I honestly, I don't get Instagram or I mean, I maybe I just didn't spend almost two years trying to figure it out. And I don't know, it just, I just, I just don't click with Instagram as much. So my process is not perfect yet, I find, but what I have down for now 
really also helps me be a little bit more consistent and know what's happening and just have more structure and more organization yeah whenever i really want to be consistent with my content each and every week okay so for this one i divided the workspace into different tasks the first section or task is content creation inside i have the weeks of the year and inside each week i have different days in which i choose to post them then I plan my content for each of the days right below. Again, I find it super useful to have everything in one place, meaning I know what's coming in each week, I know what went by, uh, I know which days I'm posting, and then I also create the content right below it. I really find it super useful and super just structured. I have the feeling that in the future I may want to uh, use a lot more video in my Instagram just because I find it a much more creative outlet and that and I just resonate a lot more with it so maybe this board ends up becoming very similar at least the content creation part very similar to the YouTube one let's see but at the moment this is how I have it. Okay finally one of the main things that uh, Instagram really requires that YouTube does but in a different way is engagement and for this section here I have all of the tasks that I want to do to devote to engagement um, that I honestly tend to forget. So these ones I really don't touch, I just know that I need to answer all of the comments, reply to all of my DMs, retribute likes, find similar pages and engage, and show up on stories daily. Finally, uh, for audience growth, I also try to follow followers of similar pages just to see what they're posting about, what they resonate with, and so on. And yeah, I just really find it useful to have this here because when I go on Instagram, if I do not have a plan of action, I tend to be lost and just, you know, scroll mindless, mindlessly for fun. And if I want to do it a little bit more sh with intention, then I find that this is very useful to have it here and just go through each task as I go. Of course, now we have the bell singing because they always like to ring whenever I'm recording. Let's just run with it. Yeah, finally, I did not show it to you before, but the October goals are all of the things that I'm doing that are just like to-dos kind of, just to make sure that I'm on the right track. This is on purpose not to detail at the moment, but uh, whenever I'm working full-time on my business, so from January 2021 on, I will really like go into it and add all of the sub tasks here to make sure that I really you know, use Asana properly, especially then if I have someone helping me, it really helps to have like, to really use like the subtasks of Asana, then I can add some more, you know, little subtasks, what goes inside, have someone review, prepare. find the right lawyer, yeah, for example, and so on and so forth. And that is it for my content creation and execution as Sana Boris. I hope they inspire you to become more organized and more effective with your content creation efforts. I strongly believe that with time they will become even better and I will perfect these boards and make them really perfect. But for now they are amazing and they are really, really changing the game for me. Even in the amount of time that I take to record YouTube videos, everything is just so much smoother, so much faster, so much easier. I feel like I have so much more free time, my head is so much more like free, less chaotic because I know like everything is under control, I know everything that's coming up, I know what I need to do today, tomorrow and so on. So yeah, definitely this stuff gets to be fun once you find the method that works for you. Now, please remember to like this video, it really, really helps, and subscribe to my channel to stay in the loop. Next week, we go back to being a little bit more spiritual, and I will take you through the manifestation with what a water manifestation ritual that I did actually last night uh, for the new moon. And yeah, that will be a good one. Let's see if the new moon brings nice stuff to me everything that I asked for. So yeah, let me know down below what it is that you want to see next, whether it is spiritual or entrepreneurial topics. And I hope you resonated with this video and we see us next time for another one. Bye. And guess what? This baby goes on to anything. Uh -huh. And let me see today, Saturday. I want to have this edited on Monday.